Hello guys, Keep Right On TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 300 likes. And as well, if you haven't dropped the sub, make sure to smash that subscribe button. We are currently 29 subscribers away from 4,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can get that done as soon as possible. So yeah, if you have been enjoying the content the past 28 days and have not been subscribed to the channel, return the favour, smash that subscribe button, and also turn those post notifications on. Big up to everyone that does do that. So, so close now. Let's get it over the line. But... Yeah, third video of today. It's been official. It, or should I say, it is official. Birmingham City, uh, Birmingham City Football Club have finally appointed a new manager. The manager search is over. The manager merry-go-round in terms of like us being linked with managers and interviewing managers is over. Chris Davies is the new Birmingham City manager. Birmingham City can confirm the, appoint the appointment of Chris Davies as men's first team manager. He has signed a four-year contract and joins the club with immediate effect from Tottenham Hotspur after the, two, after the two parties agreed compensation. He brings more than 15 years of coaching experience working at a number of leading Premier League teams including Spurs, Liverpool and Swansea City and Celtic in Scotland. Operating alongside leading managers such as Ange Postacoglu and Brendan Rodgers. The 39-year-old is a highly highly regarded coach highly, highly sorry, regarded coach Recognised for being tactically astute and an excellent communicator, he is also known for working with and developing developing exciting young talent, which could be good for us next season because, of course, we could have a lot of um, um, under-21 players breaking through into the first team. But this is what a Birmingham City owner, Tom Wagner, had to say. I am delighted to welcome Chris the Blues. He is widely respected in the game and fulfils our goal to, to appoint an ambitious, progressive coach. He is motivated to help Redefine the club, the culture and the playing identity. From our first meeting, it was clear we were aligned on values and shared the ambition for Blues. Chris will thrive in the high-performance environment that has been created at the club. He wants to be at Birmingham City and is committed to winning. I would like to thank both Tom Brady for his support and involvement and the football leadership team for their diligent approach in identifying... In identifying our next manager. They have conducted a, a, ro a robust pro process and we have appointed a top operator to take us forward. Uh, this is what Gary Cook had to say about the appointment. Chris is an outstanding coach and person that the playing staff and our supporters were instantly warm to. The goal was to identify a progressive coach, one, one who has demonstrated the ability to build teams and improve players in the squad. Chris has done this at leading clubs, being part of the Championship Cup and promotion winning teams, working with world class players and managers. He is the perfect fit for Blues. He is um, he he is a, a Metalicus Metalicus planner with um, yeah. I'm not going to read all of this. Um, this is what Chris Davis, the, Bum, the new Birmingham City manager, had to say. I am proud and honoured to be the manager of Birmingham City. As soon as I spoke with Tom Gary and uh, Tom Brady and other board members, it was clear to to me how passionate and commit and committed the board and all of the football leadership team are to bring in success to this club. It is a club with an ambitious ambition that reflects my own and a plan to make it a reality. It is such an exciting time to be at Blues. I can't wait to get started Ev meeting everyone at the club and speaking to our supporters. I will give everything to build an attacking team that reflects its greatity and most importantly to produce a team that our supporters can be proud of. Let's go! So there we go. There we have it. There are all the statements from the manager and um, the owners. My thoughts on this appointment. Do you want my thoughts? Okay, I'll give you my thoughts. Well, no one really expected this. This, this come out of the blue. Um, is he going to be our next McKenna? I've done a video on this a couple of hours ago. Is he actually going to be our next McKenna? Is this, is this the thought process of it? But, you know what? Give him time. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard, Chris. Um, Chris Davis. I don't know why. I just had a memory loss there. I don't know why I completely forgot his name. But, you know what? This is going to be his first job, first job in management, being as a you know being a manager. I think he'll do well. I do think he'll do well. Um, we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. To be fair, but out of all the candidates, this was like this could like I said, it come out of the blue, didn't it? Because we was interviewing so many managers, and he wasn't really linked to us. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below, Blues, fan, Blues fans. It's finally happened. We finally got a new manager. Anyway, it's been keep right on. T it's been keep right on TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let's see, let's see if we get 200 likes. Thanks for watching, as always, guys. And as always, keep right on.